Welcome to the Fox Learn. All the statements in your program execute in order. Unfortunately, that's not very useful, unless you want your program to do exactly the same thing every time you run it. In fact, often you won't want to execute all the code, but rather you'll want the program to do one thing if a variable has a certain value and something different if the variable has another value. Conditional branching is more complicated. Methods can branch based on the evaluation of certain conditions that occur at runtime. For instance, you might create a branch that will calculate an employee's federal withholding tax only when his earnings are greater than the minimum taxable by law. C Sharp provides a number of statements that support conditional branching, such as if, else, and switch. When a method call is reached, the program doesn't test to evaluate the state of any variable, the program execution branches immediately, and unconditionally, to the start of the new method. Execution begins in a method called main. Statement 1 and statement 2 execute, then the compiler sees a call to method 1. The program execution branches unconditionally to the first line of method 1, where the first three statements are executed. At the call to method 1a, the execution branches again, this time to the start of method 1a. The four statements in method 1a, are executed, and method 1a, returns. Execution resumes on the first statement after the method call in method 1, which is statement 4. Execution continues until method 1, ends, at which time execution resumes back in main, at statement 3. At the call to method 2, execution branches again, all the statements in method 2, execute, and then main, resumes at statement 4. When main, ends, the program itself ends. As you can see, branching takes straight line program execution and breaks it up quite a bit and this is just a simple example. However, the program always retains a strict order of execution, nothing is skipped. C Sharp provides a number of constructs that allow you to write conditional branches into your programs, including the if, else, and switch statements. If statements, the simplest branching statement is if. An if statement says, if a particular condition is true, then execute the following statement, otherwise, skip it. The condition is a Boolean expression. Single statement if blocks, it is generally a good idea, however, to use the braces even when your if block has only a single statement. There are two reasons for this advice. First, the code is somewhat easier to read and understand with the braces. The if statement here is a bit complicated. The entire if statement is in parentheses, as are all if statements in C sharp. Thus, Everything within the outer set of parentheses must evaluate true for the if statement to be true. If, else statements, you will find that you want to take one set of actions when the condition tests true, and a different set of actions when the condition tests false. Nested if statements, you've seen how to make your if statement take action for two possible options, but what if there are more than two choices? In that case, you can nest if statements that is, contain one if inside another to handle complex conditions. Switch statements, 
nested if statements are hard to read, hard to get right, and hard to debug. When you have a complex set of choices to make, the switch statement is a more powerful alternative. Fall through and jump to cases, if two cases will execute the same code, you can create what's known as a fall through case, grouping the case statements together with the same code, as shown here. Switch on string statements, the switch value was an integral constant. C Sharp also offers the ability to switch on a string. The use of read line, is rather simple. To take input from the console and assign it to the string input string, you'd do this. Whatever the user types at the console, until he presses enter in other words, one line is assigned to input string. There are many situations in which you will want to do the same thing again and again, perhaps slightly changing a value each time you repeat the action. This is called iteration, or looping. C Sharp provides an extensive suite of iteration statements, including for and while, and also do, while and for each loops. The do, while loop, there are times when a while loop might not serve your purpose. In certain situations, you might want to reverse the semantics from run while this is true to the subtly different do this, and repeat while this condition remains true. The for loop, you write a for loop with the keyword for, followed by the for header, inside the parentheses, using the syntax, for, initializers, expression, iterators, statement. Branching causes your program to depart from a top-down statement by statement execution. A method call is the most common form of unconditional branching. When the method completes, Execution returns to the point where it left off. Conditional branching enables your program to branch based on runtime conditions, typically based on the value or relative value of one or more objects or variables. The if construct executes a statement if a condition is true and skips it otherwise. When the condition in an if statement is actually two conditions joined by an OR operator, if the first condition evaluates to true, the second condition will not be evaluated at all. This is called short-circuiting. The if, else construct lets you take one set of actions if the condition tested evaluates true, and a different set of actions if the condition tested evaluates false. If statements can be nested to evaluate more complex conditions. The switch statement lets you compare the value of an expression with several constant values, integers, enumerated constants, or strings, and take action depending on which value matches. It is good programming practice for switch statements to include a default statement that executes if no other matches are found. Iteration, or looping, allows you to take the same action several times consecutively. Iterations are typically controlled by a conditional expression. The goto statement is used to redirect execution to another point in the program, but its use is typically discouraged. The while loop executes a block of code while the tested condition evaluates true. The condition is tested before each iteration. The do, while loop is similar to the while loop, 
but the condition is evaluated at the end of the iteration so that the iterated statement is guaranteed to execute at least once. The for loop is used to execute a statement a specific number of times. The header of the for loop can be used to initialize one or more variables, test a logical condition, and modify the variables. The typical use of a for loop is to initialize a counter once, test that a condition is using that counter before each iteration, and modify the counter after each iteration.
Thank you for watching this video.